Welcome back to another episode on the Maurus Film Channel. Today we are talking about editing programs and editing apps that will make your life easier when exporting for your next YouTube video, future film, just a short Instagram reel or just a family video to watch with your family at home. Well, we are at the right place. As per today, we have some main editing programs that are used in this segment to export and make your videos better. CapCut and Filmora. Well, I am actually starting to use Filmora more because it has a massive more feature incorporated in the same price rather than CapCut additional payment segments inside of the actual editing suite. So we shall be entering and compare Filmora with CapCut and decide which one is better. And yes, this video is sponsored by Filmora. Okay, so let's enter inside and have a look on both Filmora and CapCut and how are they laid out in this main starting screen. Both editing suites look similar in the style, with some things arranged differently to each other. The first thing that I like about Filmora are the AI tools, all placed on the left side panel inside stock media, AI templates and AI captions. AI captions offer you an instantaneous mood and look for your next video project. Filmora can easy AI translate your videos and make dynamic captions with a better suited modern caption layout. With a vast variety of title selection where the dynamic words are highlighted as you speak. So I will be running out one of my videos from YouTube and I have the actual text laid down under it with actual lower thirds that will be highlighted as I speak. Let's watch it. Promettono che si aggiunge più luce alla vostra immagine, ammorbidendo tutti i toni, rendendo l'immagine completa meno nitida con un ottimo tocco cinematico. Sì, puoi incollare i filtri come ND8, ND16 e poi sopra e CPL appunto nessun problema a fare. And if we go to CapCut, this option is not available, so you will get all the titles under your video but there will be no highlighted options where actually when you are speaking the actual words are highlighted and made to understand better the complete context. DJI Osmo Pocket 3 and as you know I'm using the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 a lot for my second channel and for all my vlogs and some of the BTS. Big thumbs up for Filmora. Another thing that I like about Filmora is the stock media panel full of trending libraries and well you can select a ton of actual libraries like solid color, motion blur, black, nature, space, technology or any type of video that will be matching your production. In CapCut the complete selection is pretty simple and not intuitive. Let's go to the CapCut version and see what I'm talking about. The library feature a lot less options and we have just a couple of them like trending, green screen, background, intro and end, transition, scenery, atmosphere and life. Nothing else. In Filmora this is a complete better laid out system where you can select and choose and find your expected video to put in your edit less time than CapCut and CapCut offers much less videos and much less stock media as right now in this paid version. In Filmora I am actually able to make a complete stock footage movie with just my narration on top of it without any problems. If you are thinking on spending your money, don't do it. The better way is to invest in gold. Gold is one of the most great assets that hold value and you will be thanking me, you will have money after the recession and you will be able to spend it. Filmora also offers intuitive templates for every occasion, from basic split screens to amazing social media templates that you can create for yourself. Templates related to YouTube, perfect as I'm a YouTuber or any other specific platform that you are using. So you can make intros, outros, making each of your video more vibrant for your audience. You can even make recruitment videos out for your company. These type of templates are nowhere near to be found on CapCut. Let's take a look on my intro made by Filmora.
Filmora also offers more AI features and enhancers for a lower price than CapCut. And this means that you can get much more with Filmora for a less price if we compare their paid subscriptions. When you are finished with your videos and ready to export, there is another great feature where Filmora beats CapCut in some small tiny ways. In Filmora, you have the actual short YouTube video or short made automatically by Filmora. This option is not available in CapCut. Let's have a look. You can choose an auto highlighted video, like a YouTube short, lasting 60 seconds, exported automatically from your original video. In CapCut, we don't have such feature. And these are just some of the features why I switched from CapCut for editing all my videos to Filmora. Filmora average monthly subscription price is one of the third of the CapCuts, making it more attractive compared to Adobe Premiere Pro or also Final Cut Pro. With its rich features, it surpasses free tools such as VN or iMovie, making it ideal for budget-conscious users. So if you are in the market for an editing suite with a lot of ton of AI features and stock footage, this is your perfect choice. And yes, you get all the professional editing tools like color grading, LUTs, and all the effects inside of Filmora that we can cover in my next video. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. I will be happy to answer to them. Till my next one, thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe with the bell icon to get notified every time I make a video, and see you on my next one.